trouble. I don't think so. That car was flashing its lights at me. Thought my load must be coming loose. Huh. Well, maybe he saw me and figured you'd be right. Yeah. Except the load's fine. Well, good. Then you can help me fix the fence. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just, yeah, thank you. Morning! Again? G'day. You just can't stay away from the place, can ya? Is that okay? Well, I guess we can cope with the occasional bit of bribery. We really like chocolate. Is that right? You know, Jodie's really happy. She's the reason I came back. <sighs> there we go, done. Now, want to repay the favour? All right. Cover for Jodie this afternoon. I really want to whisk her away for a while after the fair. Every second night, not enough for you guys. Oh, it's just... Want to take her somewhere special for a few hours? You're popping the question. Oh my god. Don't say anything. Okay, please. Well, we really like chocolate. Only if she says yes. Make them the cure centers. Good luck! What are you looking so chirpy about? There's a door prize at the Ag Fair. Look, it's really cool barbecue. Yeah, I saw that. I'm winning it for Jodie and Matt. It can be a wedding present. A what? Well, they're moving in together. It's the next step. Think of the breakfast he can cook. OK, when we get there, we grab all the entry forms we can. It's only one problem, though. It says one entry per person. Well, we could enter the dogs. Roy and Turbo McLeod. Top guys. I've always liked them. Yeah, and then we do the alpacas. There's not a bell McLeod, doorbell fountain, and then there's all the sheep. Oh, this barbecue is so coming to drovers. you ladies and a lovely piece of carrot cake oh no not me but thanks irene oh jody beth martin's got me helping out at the historical society she's got me in on the search for information on your win wreckage in the police records yeah how do you know oh just a guess <laughs> he was caught stealing the family's silver his own father denounced him win ended up in a chain gang <laughs> And then he was shot dead escaping, right? No, he was killed by a falling tree branch. I found his death notice in the Fisher newspaper archives. Oh, what made you think he was shot? Uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, that explains the manacles and why Emma and we'd never eloped. It doesn't explain what the manacles are doing on drovers or anything else. I'm going to go look for Matt, OK? Oh, OK. <gasps> oh, my God, he's posing. That's fantastic. <gasps> I know, I can't believe it. It slipped. But you can't say anything. Oh, so I'm not going to say anything. Got the lucky girl. <laughs> hey, there you are. See, you couldn't resist a good tractor. Uh, yeah. So, you see anything that takes your fancy? Huh? Heaps, but what's the point? We can't afford it. Mm. Yes, but if you could just choose one. Ah, uh, well, tractors last forever. I'd have to make sure it was the right one. Uh-huh. What are you two up to then? Oh, I was just giving Stevie some advice on tractors. You? <laughs> the tractor expert? You'd be surprised what I'm up on, mate. Oh, I'm just window shopping, guys. <laughs> no, no, I'm all ears. What do you suggest for it? Well, I thought this model would be the go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's all show, no substance. They're called features. Well, our tractor has features. <laughs> features mean you've got more things that can go wrong, right? Uh, what Stevie needs is something honest, down to earth, no nonsense like this. Boring, predictable, anything that churns up dirt. Guys. No, 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 Stevie deserves something with a bit of class. Oh, you mean flashy? Something with a bit of style. You know, something that makes the job a pleasure. Give me a break. What Stevie wants is reliability, mate. I think it's just and strength. She wants something like this. Oh, you've got to be joking. You know what, if we ever need a tractor, then we will pick one ourselves. Oh, now look what you've done, mate. You've upset her. Two blokes, lots of expensive machinery, it's a recipe for stupidity. It is when there's a woman involved. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Could, could you take these and put them in the bucket? I'm yep. still going. Alright. Uh, Patrick? 
It's just the one entry per person. No, no, I'm just filling them out for some friends. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's all right, it's all right. I've got to... Turbo McLeod. Yeah. Emma McLeod. She's my auntie. Wynn McLeod. Anywhere I can't find him. No. Oh, oh. Okay, if you see him, can you ask him to wait with you? Yeah. Thanks. Don't stop. Just keep walking. What are you doing here? You need to come with me. Where's Matt? We're putting him in danger. What? Prison. The men Matt testified against have sent someone to kill him. You bastards. You promised he'd be safe after the trial. You promised him a normal life. We couldn't know about this, I'm sorry. You're sorry? This wasn't the deal. I know. You've got to go back into the program. And it's got to be permanent. No. I'm not doing it. You want to live? Hey, you're the cop. Do your bloody job. Find this guy and put him in jail. I'll send another. And another and another until the job's done. No. I'm not giving up my Look, life I again. Look, I realise this now. is a shock, but you've got to do the smart thing. And Jody, we'll talk about it at the police station. You'll be safe there. Oh, yeah, with your track record. I'll take this. We'll leave after dark. It's not safe to move until then. You got until tonight to change your mind. For your own sake, do it. How can you do that? How can you just turn around and say, oh, I'm sorry, we got it wrong, you're not safe? But we will be. This time we'll see it coming. Jody, there was a blue car this morning. What? He drove right up behind me and flashed his lights. I thought there was something wrong with my car. I stopped. I got out. Lucky Taylor was in the paddock. It scared him off. What sort of car was it? Why? Just tell me, Matt. Uh, Toyota. I think I saw it. When? Um, this morning in the boundary paddock after you left, I heard a car start up. I thought it was weird being in the middle Look, of nowhere. We won't so... see him until it's too late. Yes, we will. It'll this be fine. Look around. What if it was that guy? That one. Okay, stop it, you're freaking me out. We can't stay out here. I'm the one they want. <sighs> While I'm with you, I'm putting you in danger. You can forget about that right now. I am not losing you. Look, right now, we need to separate. What? Go to the place where I used to meet Roger, remember? And talk there. What? Just make sure you're not followed. <sighs> Wait. You're going to be there, right? You're not just going to leave? I promise. I'll use your ute, okay? I oh, know. Yes, that's right. What would you Onions or pickle for you? All right, thanks. Come on, it's a sausage sizzle. Doesn't count as lunch. Call it an apology for discussing tractor grunt in front of a lady. This isn't helping. All right, I'll upgrade you from a sausage then. How about a hamburger? <sighs> Stevie. <laughs> Um, I have to get out of here now. Why? What's going on? I can't explain, but I do have to get out of Gungallon. Jodie, what do you mean? Hey, call me if you guys need help, OK? Yeah. Jodie? Jodie, tell me what's going on. Jodie! No! Get away from it! Get away! Get away from it! Him. No. I worked with him at Silk. No, he was with the blue car. He was dead. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. No damage. Get her out of here now. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. I'm sorry. 